What is up you guys, it's Negan from Vikings Wharf Clans and today we are going to talk about the new season that has just come out. We're going to talk about the new hero skins and the town skins that are now available. We're also going to take a quick look at uh, what else is inside the, the store itself uh, to see if they're any good to buy or not or what I suggest. Alright, let's get started with this video. So before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach 5,000 subscribers so I can get to the next level of the streaming program with Vikings War of Clans. So please tell your friends to subscribe, your clan mates, tell whoever is interested within the game to subscribe, you guys. Uh, the faster we get it to 5,000 subscribers, the faster we are able to do better rewards and giveaways and stuff like that. So the season just restarted and uh, we are in a new season called Passion for Challenge. Um, so let's look at what we have. So we're going to look at the hero skin. This is the newest hero skin that is now available. It's called the challenger and the bonuses with this one is 50% for troop offense when capturing the fortress. Number of warriors on a march is a increase of 150% and troop offense during an attack is 50%. The next hero skin is uh, the Seeker. Uh, Seeker isn't a new one, it, it was out before, uh, but it's an option that people can have once again if you are a melee troop type player. Um, so this is an opportunity for you guys to get to this skin once again. Now the new town skin is called the Guard of Enlightenment. Um, this skin is basically for for scouting uh, but it also helps with troop offense during defense and troop offense during an attack when you have it fully maxed you get 140 percent increase uh, for offense during defense and offense during an attack uh, but you also get 140 percent for offense during an attack with scouts and the number of scouts in a troop so when you're sending it uh, is also increased by a hundred percent so let's kind of talk and break down these uh, skins and stuff like that. So like I mentioned with Guard of Enlightenment, um, the first, uh, the, the top and the bottom section is mainly geared for scouts. Uh, if you are a player that does a lot of scouting, this is a skin that you're gonna wanna get. Remember that these are permanent boosts, so no matter what, every time you increase this you're gonna have the boost increase no matter what so it's definitely something that i would get if you are a scout type player that likes to do a lot of scouting now the other reason why i would maybe get this is just for the two extra bonuses when it comes to percentages every little bit helps so having 140 percent uh increase of troop offense during defense and same thing with troop offense during an attack just makes you that much stronger than your opponent so i'd recommend getting it if you want to have that little bit of an edge against your enemy players now when it comes to hero skins i don't know if the challenger would be a better uh skin compared to the trapper trappers is a skin that a lot of people are using for you know attacking the pop and for attacking throne attacking uh stronghold sieges and it's the percentages in it just seem a lot better than this one here so troop offense when capturing uh fortress is 50 percent uh but trapper also has has that and it also has some extra bonuses as well so real quick so let's just look at it again so 50% for troop offense when capturing fortress number of warriors is 150% increase and then troop offense during an attack is 50% so let's take a look at trapper really quickly and we'll see what the difference is so here's trapper so you have the troop offense when capturing fortress and trapper also has the troop offense during attack which is also 50% but aside from that you also have the other bonuses which is troop defense when capturing fortress troop health when capturing fortress and then troop defense and health during an attack as well i personally don't see me using the other hero skin mainly because this is a better hero skin than that one in my opinion the only difference is that you're able to increase the percentage of how many troops you send out in the march by 150 percent which is a nice thing to do but then you also lose all those extra bonuses now if you do not have trapper then maybe Maybe it is a good uh, alternative uh, skin to have in the meantime till you build up your runic coins again and until Trapper comes out once again. We don't know when it's coming, but we know that most skins will be brought back again. So there will be an opportunity to get Trapper. But as of right now, 
comparing the two trapper is a lot better so if you already have trapper i would avoid getting this skin i'm not going to waste my runic coins on it because it doesn't make any sense to lose out on these extra bonuses for just being able to increase the percentage of the troop march it just it just doesn't make any logical sense because you're losing out on the bonuses so save your runic coins i would not get it if i were in your position and if you have trapper already but if you do not have trapper that other hero skin will be beneficial for you when you're attacking uh anything that's like pop related like pop stronghold towers throne anything that's that's tower based um it will help you obviously it's not going to be as good as trapper but it's going to be better than what you have uh normally then you have the Guard of Gran 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 Grandeur. I don't know how to say that, but uh, this one here is uh, troop offense against cavalry, total defense, troop offense when capturing fortress, and troop defense when capturing fortress. So I would recommend getting this if you guys don't already have it. Uh, I don't know if I've maxed it or not. Uh, let's take a quick look. Troop of Grandeur. Yeah, so I did max this one. Um, I don't remember what it, it took to upgrade, um, but it was something that I did get. So um, definitely a uh, good skin to have. Again, it helps you with capturing fortress and guarding for the fortress by 140%. So definitely something that you'll want to get, uh, to, again, to have that edge against your enemy players. Now, as for the treasure and everything else, I personally wouldn't get any of this. Like none of it, in my opinion, is appealing. It's all kind of a waste. Um, if we're playing this game, we're already spending money on the game. Like why waste your runic coins on 15 day boosts um, when you can just buy them? So it, it just, it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, there's nothing worthwhile. If they had that whole uh, buy runic coins for a million and then get 150 or 1.5 back, then I would say get that for sure. But it doesn't seem beneficial to me uh if you're someone that needs this and then i guess you could go this route but it's just it's expensive and and runa coin is something that is definitely needed to be able to get these and this is more important than these in my opinion so um do what you want with that information uh but i personally wouldn't waste my runic coins on this all right so that's basically it you guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was somewhat educational i know it's not uh, very like specific but i thought i hit the points that needed to be hit uh in terms of the skins and stuff like that so Anyways, I'm going to get going. Uh, also, just a quick reminder that Jot is coming, and with Jot usually comes giveaways. I have sent out my ideas to Torin uh, about the different giveaways that I want to be doing, so cross my fingers that he says yes to all of them, and there should be some pretty interesting rewards uh, in there, so I hope you guys are able to participate in all of them, and I hope I can get all of them approved. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, catch you guys later. Take care, peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.